I'm Matt with McCulley's Golf Cars in Crossville, Tennessee, full service golf cart shop. And today we're gonna start a series on how to tune up your 2004 Club Car DS. Hey, this is Matthew again with McCulley's Golf Cars in Crossville, Tennessee. Today I'm gonna show you how to put a starter generator belt on your 04 Club Car DS. Okay, here's a quick tip. Anytime you're working on a club car, especially on the, on the club car DS, there's a yellow switch right here. See, when this is in neutral, you push the gas and it will not go, nothing happens, okay? But when you're working on it, you don't want it to drive off on you. So you can turn that over 180 degrees and this pushes up that switch. So even in neutral, you can push the accelerator and test out your engine. Don't forget to switch it back when you're done though or when you put it in drive, it will not drive. Uh, first of all, to change out the starter generator, starter generator belt, you will need a 9 16th socket and a 9 16th wrench. Um, the space, especially behind the, the, the tension nut, is uh, very small, so I use a quarter inch drive. Uh, you may also need something to pry, like either a little bar like this or a flathead screwdriver to get the drive belt off. Uh, and then, of course, you will need your new premium starter generator belt. All right, in removing your drive belt, I recommend I use my left hand back where the driven clutch is, I recommend putting a glove on because you can pinch your fingers and it, it can take some skin off. Hurts, hurts pretty bad. Alright, so first of all, you're going to use the rotation. Um, it's good to put it in neutral so this is not making your rear wheels turn. You're going to use the rotation of the, the belt to help it roll off of the rear clutch. So you pull to the side as you on this first on the front belt you just kind of rotate it back it can be kind of difficult at first but once you get it tight and it's kind of up on the edge of it this is where the screwdriver comes in handy you can stick it in here beside the belt all right I'm gonna let it sit there so you can see how it is up against the side of the rear clutch okay and now with it right there you keep rotating just give it a little bit of a pry and rotate it can be difficult to get it to rotate with it so tight you can also sometimes pry from underneath like this all right and you'll feel it once it finally gets passed and you can kind of work your screwdriver out and then just kind of slowly work it around. Don't try to rush it or you will pinch your hand. Okay. All right, so we'll slide that out. Now this is a good belt. Uh, when you do, anytime you take your belt off though, you want to check it for cracks and uh, and see if you need to replace this too. It'd be a good time to. Now on the starter generator, we've got two bolts right here and here that we need to loosen so that it can, it can slide up and down in the adjusting bracket here. This is where the 9 16 wrench and sockets will come in handy. Now, these do not have to be removed, they just need to be loosened. So 
sometimes it helps to have different lengths. Okay, now the bolt to adjust this on this bracket here, it's just got a nut on the back side so you don't have to get your wrench up in there. Now, if you don't have a rear seat on, this access port here gives you really good access to the back side of that bolt, but we do, so it's, it's a little bit more cumbersome. But once that's loosened, you just kind of give it a little bit of a wiggle, and there, it slides down the adjustment bracket, and this belt should just come right off. Okay, you see, the reason this one was brought in was because the, uh, the starter generator belt wouldn't even turn the motor. See how skinny this one is compared to a new one. It had just, it's just too worn out. It's not too cracked or anything like that. It is coming apart a little bit, but it's just, it's just reached the end of its life. Okay. So next step, we're gonna put the new one on. We just go right over the drive clutch and then on top of the big pulley here, it goes right in the groove and then there's a pulley. I don't know if you guys can see it really well, but it's right at the top of the starter generator that you'll line it up with, okay? Now, the next part we've got to set up for a little bit. There is a specific tool that you use to crank this down, but we're going to show you a uh, kind of a DIY tactic to do this because most people don't have the tool. Okay. All right. So what we have here, we have just a regular uh, strap, like a ratchet strap, but we don't need the ratchet part for this, okay? Um, we're going to go with the hook end down through that access port, and we're going to go to the back side of the starter generator. Now, you're going to have to, let me take this off because I can't fit my hand in there. All right, we're going to have to go around the back side. Make sure we don't squish any wires, like go underneath the wires that are on the starter generator. Pull the hook around. Once again, we're not gonna wrap this around the starter generator and hook it to itself because there are some wires on top of it that we don't want to uh, move or, or or damage so instead we're going to come up here and if you have a back seat you can hook it right to the back seat lip if you don't you can hook it to the bottom of your um, sweater basket all right so this part is a good part to um, to have the help of a friend actually hey Tom you mind uh, giving us a hand here So it doesn't require a lot of tension. Basically, we're just going to pull up, keep it, keep it tight, have a friend hold it, and then we're going to get to the back of this bolt here again and uh, tighten the nut on the back of the adjusting uh, bracket. Let's do it finger tight. Okay, yeah, that's actually a half inch, sorry. Once that bolt on the adjustment bracket 
is tightened. You should be able to let loose on the strap. Let's make sure it's tight. Let loose, Tom. All right, once our uh, starter generator belt is reinstalled, then we're gonna take the drive belt, slip it down and over the drive clutch, and then putting it back on is a whole lot easier. Basically, we're just gonna push it in that groove and roll it over. We just keep rolling. Until it pops right back on. All right, and uh, that's how we install a starter generator belt on a club car DS.